Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Ninja Tech. In this video, we will see how can we configure SSH server. How can we install and configure SSH server? So, uh, first, let me tell you what is SSH server. Basically, SSH is a protocol for securely exchanging data between two computers over an untrusted network. SSH protects the privacy and integrity of the transferred identities, data, and files. It runs in most computers and in practically every server. It ships standard on Unix, Linux, and Mac operating system machines, and it is used in over 90% of all data centers in the world. Now, uh, first you need to be in the root directory. First, I will verify that uh, whether these packages are installed or not. So, I will write rpm-q open ssh so yes uh, it is installed now i will verify open ssh server so both are installed so we don't need to install these server but in your case if it is not installed then you have to write yum install open ssh server and after some space write open ssh minus y then you will enter this and uh, the installation process will begin so uh, it is telling me that you need to be in the root directory so you must be in the root directory so again i am writing gm install or press enter in my case it is al already installed that's why uh, it is uh, it is telling me nothing to do now we will enable and start the ssh sshd service and verify that tcp port number 22 is in listing state so write system ctl enable sshd dot service now press enter now replace the enable with start so we can start the sshd service now write ss so now write this then write grep then write the name of the uh, now write port number now enter so now the next step is to open tcp port 22 so for this i will write firewall minus minus zone is equal to public add is equal to ssh now press enter so uh, now you have to reload the firewall configuration so now write reload so now the next step is to we will open the configuration file of open ssh server open ssh server so for this we will write gedit Now I am providing the path to the file. Now press enter. So it is displaying the warning. Or oh, let's try to open with VI. So yes, uh, uh, we have opened the file with alternate method. So uh, now press uh, after pressing I, I am I am allowed to uh, enter in the file. So now find authentication. Now make this permit root login to no. Uh, yes, strict modes yes. Max authorized try six. Max sessions ten. Okay. Now yes. So allow agent forwarding yes, 
allow TCP forwarding yes gateway port to no so uh, now write hash and now write allow user uh, in the previous video we have created the user by writing user add and uh, the username uh, was uh, ninja so so now I am allowing the username uh, ninja so uh, basically I am restricting the login to ninja only our SSH so I will write ninja now press escape now colon wq and now enter so the file is saved now uh, you need to restart the service so i will write system ctl restart ssg service so now the configurations are saved now so now you need to open the command prompt of windows so now uh, write ssh now enter the name of your and now enter the username and then after that write the ip now write the ip address so now enter the command uh, so now we have successfully accessed our CentOS 7 remotely via SSH server. So uh, let me again tell you that we can find our IP address by writing if config. So in my case it is 10.0.2.15. So uh, let me show you. So here is it. So uh, you have to choose the very first IP address so uh, that's how you can uh, configure SSH server uh, to uh, remotely access the you can also verify this from here write ninja and then write 10.0.2.15 now it is asking for the password so in the previous video we have created the username and the password so now I am writing the password so uh, it is uh, telling me that uh, you have uh, successfully accessed the uh, CentOS machine uh, using SSH server. I hope you understand. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then take care.